Hello everyone. A few days ago I did a video, right, where I talked about my take on Kanu, uh, in Amdi Kanu. And there were a lot of people who came, you know, on my YouTube page, that's where I posted the video, you know, attacking and all of that. Because I was very clear in the things that I said, and I said I, I didn't put water in my mouth. Yes, the government does not have a right to continue to incarcerate him for, for saying that they want to secede from Nigeria. Everybody has a right to decide whether they are region, they want to be part of Nigeria or not. And uh, there should be a room for referendum for people to be able to vote on that. And, and I also talked about the fact that Look, the, Nam the Kano had a lot of influence which he mismanaged through ego, you know, and personal whatever that he was all out for, where he wanted people worshipping him, kissing his feet and, and, and all of that. And this whole sit at home issue, I talked about it, it's the most despicable, the most useless, the most thoughtless, the most, I don't, I'm looking for the words to actually use on what it's doing to the morale of the people of the Southeast, the, the businesses of the people, uh, to, of, of the people of the South, the economy, the destruction it's causing towards the economy, the destruction it's causing towards the uh, human development index, and everything you can think about. We are hearing reports that, oh, because they have an anniversary that students are supposed to stay at home, they stay at home all over the place, you know, there are pictures are coming out of places that are deserted. Do you know, understand how much it's lost every day where business is not done do you know what it means when people close shop and they don't come out they don't transact they don't do anything you're killing the economy of your region are you that dumb are you dumb they are killing you and you are killing yourself who does that you're cutting your nose to spite your face you can carry shoulder and say that oh you can force people to stay at home otherwise you're going to kill them you're going to shoot them killing is the least of thing anybody can be should be proud of because at the end of us every one of us is going to die anyways and if all you can do is that you can just go and you can kill you can maim you can burn then you are as useless as useless can be and i'm talking to you yes you useless as useless can be because because the most important and most difficult thing to do is to build, is to build, and that building is what has eluded you. How do you deprive children the opportunity and the right for them to write their exams? It's we're talking about YEC exam. For some of the students, they don't have the capacity to leave those states and go elsewhere. There are people whose uh, parents are buoyant enough to register them out of out of that uh, out of the region and get them to go elsewhere to get go and get uh, uh, to go and write their exams. Who are the ones that are going to suffer the most? Absolutely the children of the poor who don't have anywhere to go to and so they are stuck in there and they must stay and they are going to miss papers. With what will they enter university? With what will they be able, able to progress and continue with their education? And you just sit down and you think nothing about it and all you're thinking about is oh, uh, we've enforced CETA. So no, 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 you've enforced foolishness. You've enforced craziness. There's not, there's nothing, there is nothing uh, uh, smart about that whole move. There is nothing intelligent about it. It talks, it, 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 it reads of intellectual laziness where you cannot think of better ways to be able to enforce your message and get your message across. What's the difference between what you are doing and what Boko Haram did? Yes, Boko Haram were, were, were also against education. Yes, Boko Haram did everything to stop people from going to school. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're sitting down there, you're denying your people the opportunity to get education. You're killing the businesses of your people. You've killed a lot of, of people. You, the, the support you used to have among some of your people, it's slowly frittering away. And you sit down and you blame everybody. And when someone is sucking, you come and meet me and tell me that, oh, Nigeria will not work, Nigeria. The nonsense that you are doing right now, has it worked? In what way has it worked? You think this is working? By, by depriving people of their rights. There was the difference. In short, you are worse than whatever it is that you say you are fighting. The right you are fighting for, you are worse than the people that have oppressed those your rights. Because that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you sat down and you are also doing. And you sit down here and you feel good about yourself and you're coming to come and talk all sorts of nonsense. I saw a lot of you that came on my, and you were writing all sorts of nonsense on, in the comment section and whatever. Every one of you 
should be ashamed of yourself, especially those of you that are abroad, that are enjoying good governance abroad, that are enjoying accountability abroad, that are enjoying transparency abroad, that have social development, you, you know, so abroad, sustainable development abroad, that your children are getting the required education that they need. You want to popularize the people that are back home. You want to make, uh, you want there to be illiteracy. So you're doing everything you can to damage that region, to ensure that children, you know, do not go to school. And you're proud of that. It will not be well with you. Yes, you, it will not be well with you. Your children are abroad. You are abroad. You are enjoying all the good things of life abroad. And then back home, you're putting suffering. You're making people suffer. You're making people, people are being killed just because they don't obey your foolish and stupid sit at home uh, rule because they, they went out to business. Yes, sit at home is a form of protest, but you do it in a strategic manner, not this very dumb, intellectually bereft manner that you really, you just sit and say, oh, everybody should sit at home. Oh, they can sit at home. Oh, we have guns and whatever. Yeah, let me see road. Ta, let me see road. There are crazy people that have done all of this. Where has it gotten them to? And then you will not come and sit on my on, on, on my on my timeline or my this to tell me that oh Nigeria will never work. It's you that will never work. And that thing you are looking for, that you're looking for in this violent way that will never work. You cannot deprive people of their own rights and expect that you, whatever it is you are looking for, would work. Eh? A child that is supposed to write exam, they've read for their exam, you deny them their exam. Some of them, their parents will not even have money for them to be able to write another exam. Next year, do you know how much it took some parents to be able to gather the money that they pay for WAEC? Do you have an idea? Have you bothered? No, you're sitting there because you have adrenaline flowing through your body and you feel that, oh, you are doing something because you carry some guns on around there. You're just bloody cowards that are out there that can't do anything good, that can't contribute to the progress of your region, that you cannot be part of something that is good. And all you're thinking about is also being part of the suppressors and suppressing, you know, your fellow citizens, suppressing your brothers and sisters. Very shameful act. All you talk about all the time is violence and how you threaten people with violence and all of that. Even the girl where you carry, you know, now people make her. You feel make her. You feel make her. What an absolute disgusting shame. You kill, you want, you, you want to kill a region? You're already being oppressed. You're already being you know, sideline, you're already there's so much, you know, against your region, and then you, you are not coming again, you are enforcing the, all of those things, and for those of you who supported this nonsense, right from the one when this thing started, and you were abusing the rest of us, and telling us that, oh, we hate South East, oh, Aisha Yesufu, you hate Igbo people, Aisha Yesufu, you hate our South East, Aisha Yesufu, you hate Biafra, if you want to do Biafra, you want to do Ariwa, you want to do Odutuwa, you want to do Salsa, you want to do Mintukbe, please, you're all welcome. If Nigeria has to separate it to 36 states, I don't care. I will look for visa and go to everywhere. But good governance, accountability, transparency must be sacrosanct. You know, people's rights must be sacrosanct. And you cannot oppress anybody. And right now, what you guys are doing is oppression. And you should all be ashamed of yourself.